Hello? Hello, Christopher. Yes, it's from the publishing office. Um, we've decided not to publish your book. Uh, what's wrong with it? Uh, yes, uh, well, we just feel that it doesn't have an audience. Even though it's a fictional book, it still needs to be believable. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are we just going to sit here in silence? Chris, you can't do this every time you get rejected or a book doesn't do well. I think this is it. I think, I think I'm going to write one more book and then, and then I think I'm going to hang it all up. That's a massive step. Are you sure that's what you want? I think I have to. I don't seem to be getting anywhere. You're joking. Chris, you and I have known each other since we were, well, since we were kids. This is what you do. You, you were writing before you could spell. You know what? You're in a massively privileged position. I wish I could be like you. I wish my parents had given me money so I didn't have to work. <laughs> It's what you do, Chris. You're a writer. It's your passion. I don't think I can write anymore. Writing used to be a hobby for me. Uh, and then it turned into a job. And now it, it seems like a weight on my shoulders. Why write another book then? I think I have one more story left to tell the world. Hello. Hello, is this Robert? Yes, speaking. Um, I work for the publishing agency that Christopher goes to. Okay. okay, hello, what can I do for you? I've tried to call Christopher a few times, but I've had no reply. But there was a note to phone you. Okay, um, I don't know why he's done that. What, what, what can I do for you? I've, I have no idea why. Like, I've tried to call him anyway, but um, the note said to call you straight away. We've decided to publish your friend's book. Well, that's brilliant news. Absolutely fantastic. Yes. I'll, um, well, I, I guess I'll let him know. Okay, thank you. Right, bye.